Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products and focus. So let's start off by having a little look there at the US 30. And uh, you can see there we actually had quite a decent session yesterday, closing quite close to the top end of the range. But unfortunately now we're ticking down. When I'm actually looking at the intraday charts, it's looking like the US 30 is ticking down, Germany 30 is just slowly losing momentum, and the UK 100 is, uh, is on the back foot as commodity pardon me, prices begin to take a slide again after a couple of uh, a couple of rally days um, but nevertheless 17,034 remains potential resistance on the US 30 other technicals are relatively neutral with the MACD close to crossing the zero line uh, it's still all to play for but we are at the top end of the range looks to be 15,870 as a potential support with 17,034 as being the potential resistance so uh, with the FOMC uh, minutes tonight coupled with a number of Fed members giving um, speeches, we should get maybe a little bit more action on the American stock markets and also uh, on US dollar denominated FX pairs. Now, the kind of mindset is, is that rates are dead in the water for 2015, but the FOMC minutes will give a little bit more uh, clarity and vision as to the Fed's thoughts on that matter, especially after such a weak Small, uh, such a weak jobs report there last Friday. So looking at the UK 100, we had a great session again yesterday, a reversal so far this morning. We're down maybe about almost a full percentage point, uh, and we're trading between two ranges right now of 6,300 and 6,415, uh, with that 21, 55 period SMA sorry, being potential support, coupled with the, with the support level right here. So um, 6,300 is one to watch. We're 20 points away from there at time of recording. The MACD is just crossing the zero line, so um, it'll be interesting to see if we can get a late turnaround in the session. Moving on to Japan, we had some weak data come out of Japan. Factory orders fell quite a lot. Uh, I think people are buying the yen as a safe haven after a couple of days of, of decent rallies. Uh, the markets are coming off ever so slightly at the moment and um, people are buying safe haven yen. So that's kind of dampening the appeal of Japanese equities. We are looking at 18,306 as a potential resistance. Four sessions now it's been been in play and four sessions has been pushed right back down. So that does look like it's a valid potential resistance level. And uh, we are slipping a little bit this morning, heading towards that 21 period SMA. Other technicals are relatively neutral. So looking at dollar yen, you can just see it's a slow creep on the daily charts. It doesn't look like that much on my other screen. I've got my intraday charts and I can see that things are just, just ticking down there ever so slightly on, on dollar yen. So, um, Again, still not a huge amount to talk about. If you're gonna trade this on a five minute interval, it probably looks kind of more interesting than it does on a one day. Uh, if I just scroll out here, um, maybe making a, a series of lower highs. So you've got a high, a lower high, kind of a lower high, lower high. And we're maybe towards the bottom of this range now. You can just see the tips of these candles where it's bounced once, twice, perhaps three times. So in fact, just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and get my support level and add that into the tips right here. And you can just get an idea of how that's bounced, but it is making lower highs. So you could make, you could arguably get another trend line from here. Well, you can't really do it like this, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm just gonna put this on here for now to see if it actually flattens out longer term. And now I'm gonna put that onto my daily interval and uh, we can see how things progress. And we can look at that on the uh, on the five minute charts when we come back to it on other sessions. So finishing up with uh, the commodities, um, we had West Texas show up after Saudi Arabia and Russia were apparently having talks on oil production figures uh, with 49.50 being potential resistance. It didn't break through yesterday. It's moving a little bit lower this morning. We've not heard anything more from Saudi Arabia or Russia. Moving on to gold, uh, gold had a little bit of a reversal as well, kind of surprising because we were getting some great momentum yesterday, but it seemed to peter off, uh, probably because we've got the FOMC meeting tonight and more Fed members talking. And if they start talking about rates again, and it's it seems really unlikely that they would do it, but um, maybe they might still have some hawkish statements. And maybe some people are thinking that they are take, it, take the foot off the gas in regards to gold. 1137 is a potential support level now to be aware of on the yellow metal. So then moving on to euro dollar, uh, we've got the symmetrical triangle formation. We've not broken out of either side right now. Nothing's really changed. One spot 14.75 potential resistance, one spot 11 potential support. Uh, and it looks to be the moving averages aren't, aren't doing a huge amount. Other technicals are flattening out, which isn't surprising when you're getting to the apex of this uh, symmetrical triangle formation. 
And then finishing up with GBP USD, a uh, great session for sterling yesterday, really beginning to push up that little bit higher. Uh, one spot 54.24 being the potential resistance, one spot 51.85 being support. And I guess we're slap bang in the middle of those two ranges, but a, a decent day by sterling uh, or, uh, to, to push up higher yesterday. And we're not doing a huge amount first thing this morning. I'm looking at intraday charts, really just a sideways moving flat market so far today. So economic data wise, we've got the Bank of England MPC minutes, that's going to be a big deal. We've got the employment data, uh, the weekly employment data from, from the US. And what's not on here, remember, is the FOMC minutes, 7pm UK time. Uh, make sure you don't uh, forget, forget about that. With any of your open positions, it is very important. And if we fired on to Wednesday, uh, Friday, sorry, not much to, uh, to talk about. So really, FOMC tonight, could uh, drop a few bombs, so just make sure that you are tuned in to your Bloomberg or CNBC uh, to see the outcome of that. There'll be a statement released electronically all at the same time, and it can have a big impact, especially if the Fed is un, uh, uncharacteristically ho uh, hawkish uh, on rates, considering the non-farm payrolls figure on Friday was nothing special. Uh, so why don't you guys keep your eye on the chart forum? Make sure your insights is part of your layout going forward. Don't forget about this awesome module. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.